poetry in the afternoon. And, uh, here with me today, I have one of Ireland's leading poets, Seamus O'Shanti. How are you, though? Great to be here. It's a pleasure as ever. I'm always delighted to be in this. I only hold the And alongside Seamus, uh, we have your brother, Tomas O'Shanti. That's Tomas, yeah, we were. Uh, yeah. Tomas. Yeah. 
Well, isn't that always the way, you know? I mean, there's three things about the poem. That uh, the first thing is uh, that if, if, you ever, if you've ever had a kind of a goatee, but you'll know that the jazz quarter of Dallas is, is you can get a real close shave there. <laughs> second thing uh, about uh, you know when I was flying over to, to America, he didn't get a plane. He no. actually flew over. Yeah, I had to. It was Ryanair. I had to fly myself. Uh, and uh, I still landed at the wrong airport and had to get there. Um, the airport from Canada. Yes, because <laughs> I remember I sent some uh, Canadian poems uh, by uh, pigeon. Threw them across yes. the Atlantic. Threw them. I sent six six pigeons from Canada. Just because you're talking about the country, the last, the third, the third thing, the inspiring thing that made you see well, this poem in your own. I life. felt gripped in a kind of paralysis when I got to Texas. I felt that there was too much fight left in me. You know, I felt I had to. Say fuck you to the fighting side. Did you get away like, from me? Did you feel like a fish out of water? I felt, I felt I was hooked into to some kind of a primeval testosterone kind of uh, washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get away from that. I wanted to, to push against my own nature. And I wanted to feel inside of myself that I was a true artist, that I, that I could really, in, in some way, feed the birds of misfortune.